welcome once again to the series of spiritual warfare. My name is Isaac Kamara, founder and senior pastor of Christ Resurrection Power Ministry International. On my last series, I couldn't, I'm sorry, I couldn't finish, I couldn't complete the topic witchcraft. We're on spiritual warfare and then we have to come to sub title witchcraft because witchcraft activity is one of the of the areas we can identify how these forces fight against humanity and especially Christian. I have explained that in the, my last uh, uh, previous uh, clips about my encounter with wisdom, or those who are possessed with witchcraft spirit. This particular young girl I was talking about, the, the auntie called me and immediately she saw me. She was possessed by evil spirit already before I go to the house. I went to the house. But she closed her eyes. Auntie, get this man out of this house. I don't want to see this man. But the auntie called me to come and intervene because the girl is still saying words, some things, and he was saying that she have to go back to the village because the auntie brought her to the village, from the village to the city, and he didn't want to stay there. And the auntie was a very good, uh, shall I say, prayerful Christian. But when I went there, I've never come in ac across this girl. She don't know me, I don't know her. And the auntie did not tell her I'm going to call a man to come. So the girl had no idea. I just entered the house. The girl started running. A girl of 14 years old, about 40 years old, started running. Get this girl out. Get this man out of here, auntie. Get this man out. Of and the auntie said, why? What's wrong? No, there's something in this man's eye. I cannot look into it. Well, please, please go, go. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I did not say a word. You see? Because the Bible says, greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So then we started praying and I rebuked the, the, the spirit inside her. So many times I'll do that by interviewing them. When I interview them, how they got there, the spirit was given to her by someone. And from that time, she will pray under this supernatural power. And she can see herself going places, meeting many places, and doing evil things. He said that they were, she was asked to kill the auntie and also to paralyze the auntie's husband. And actually, she was doing it as Sally as she said, because the auntie started suffering a lot of uh, pain, you know, strange sickness and disease all over her body. So you can see she was delivered because of the prayer by the Holy Ghost. The Bible says that the prayer of faith will heal the sick. Physically, this girl is not sick, but spiritually, she is contaminated. And for that reason, somebody like me must intervene by the power of the Holy Spirit to save this little girl. And in fact, she was saved. Many times people vomit things, strange things from their there. Their, their. I've seen people even vomiting live animals with all this witchcraft stuff. Some will even vomit a, a kind of blackish or reddish uh, substance out of the body. And some of them, they are so smelly. And some of them is a clot of blood. I don't know how it get there. But they, they, after this experience, they are, they are free. I want to talk about another witch wizard. Actually, a, woman, a man which is a wizard. Who came in contact with me physically. Because she tried to, he tried to kill me many times. Because if you're a Christian and you're a prayer for your words and your prayer disturb the activity of the witches and the wizards. So because you disturb them, they do everything possible in the spiritual realm 
to finish you, maybe to cause an accident or sickness or whatever. But if they find out they cannot prevail, they will try their best to manifest it in the natural. So physically, you will see, they will come to you, this guy will come, and you will do certain things. One time he came, he came to the house and put a, 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 a match, a box of match. And when I opened, and he left, and I don't know why he put it. When I opened the box of match, I saw some items in it. And then when I when I saw the items, like evil items, like a talisman and all those, and I took it and threw it away. That very night when I slept, I didn't eat, it wasn't easy. When I even I slept, I saw the same match came and on my my hand like he asked me, why did I throw away so much flowers? This guy came in the form of a giant being. So I say gorilla or no, some kind of being and try to attack me. Sometimes it look, it appears like people that. But at the end of the day, I did something in my last time, remarkable. I put my hand in water and I said, I pray that bless this water and the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Mr. Everywhere. That's it. We have seen witches and wizards who tell a story that some of them can even tend to be like rats or cockroaches and other animals so that they can penetrate through the, the houses of people and come and destroy. Witches and wizards, <coughs> they have many forms and activities. The the, the operation or the, the, the agenda, as we know in the Bible, is that the, the enemy comes in only by his right to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief comes not but to steal, kill, and destroy. <clears throat> so you have to kill, destroy, and steal evil souls to hell. They can cause people to obey their will. And if you don't want to obey the will of a witch, they will fight you in many ways. They can cause barrenness and they can cause sickness. I've seen, I've, I've, I've prayed for somebody who is under the, the, the influence of witchcraft. He, she was not a witch, but people, a wizard or witches, just fell on her. She was pregnant for many, many months, even up to 12 months. And she cannot have children. After a while, when they go and check the baby, it, it is my, I, I was there, my ministry, they brought her to, to our meetings. I saw it. Because the witchcraft activity was growing, they are fighting her. As a woman who is pregnant, normally you have to be nine months pregnant, and then you give that. But this one is 12 months, one year long, and the stomach is like. I don't want to mention names. Perhaps the lady might know that I'm bringing her story to the public. When he, when he went to the hospital, when she went to the hospital, they cannot, after visiting the hospital, all the exam, all the history, they cannot find the baby. Let me explain that. But then why? This belly is like this. That is why I want to thank you. Keep on listening, and as you keep on listening, we will share more secrets.